every... one. Fear not, Princess of Dalmasca. We, Ocuria, have chosen you. And you alone. Dalmasca, we see your heart desires power, and power most holy shall we grant. Seek you the sun crisp, slumbering star. In tower on distant shore, it dreams. The mother of all Nephysite, the source of its unending power. The Dynast King, his fellow shards, coarse trinkets cut from sun crisp's light. Such power exists? In times that are long passed away, we sought to save this Ivalice, and chose Wraithwall, the Dynast King. He took the sword, and cut the crist. Three shards he took from its gilt grasp, and so became the Dynast King. His words and deeds run through your veins. That's why I was given it, the Sword of Kings. The treaty held with kings of old is but a memory, cold and still. With you, we now shall treat of you to cut a run for history's flow. I ate pizza. Yo, that looks like a sword of kings. Now take this sword. Treaty blade, that's this what I meant. Treaty blade, a curian seal, mark of your worth. Cut deep the crisp and seize your shards. Wield Dynast King's power. Destroy Vanar. These things want me to kill Vanar. But Vanar. Vanar's an Acurian. A being like you. Vanar is a heretic. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually several of these things. They're cool. The Nethersite is ours to give to chosen bearer. Or to none. The heretic trespassed. And set the rose of knowledge in man's hand. Who was that? Prometheus? Vanaz Prometheus. It is anathema to us. He's literally Prometheus. We give you now the stone and task. Administer judgment. Destroy them all. Judgment? <sighs> Destroy them all. The Empire? Rassler is fucking dead. It was these things. These things were... These things were Rassler. Ever weave. With haste, they move through two short lives. Driven to air by base desires. Toward waste. And wasting. On they run. These things don't have a high opinion of humans. Undying, we are curious like the path. For wayward sons of man. Of did we pass judgment on them, so that Ivalice might endure. Eternal, we are history's stewards, to set the course and keep it true. The Chosen is our hand, our fist, to let live some and crush the rest. Princess, you have been chosen. Take revenge against those who stole your kingdom. Fulfill your role as savior. Attain to your birthright. He's a curia. What gives him the right to tell you what to do? We just saw all of that. Will you take revenge, as they ask? Huh? We could not see them, but we heard the Ocuria speak. They may be gods, but we are the arbiters of our destiny. Your Highness, I am against this. The Empire must pay, but destruction... 
Um... Does anyone know what happened to Dr. Sid? Wasn't he saying he'd be here? He should have arrived by now. And I should have realized by now. He's not coming. He laid out the bait and we bit. Remember what he said? He wanted Ash to get the stone. He wanted that all along. That's why he flaunted his nethersite and reeled us in with his stories about Ghetto Vagan, all to bring Ash to the Alcuria. But wait, if we got a hold of the nethersite, wouldn't that be bad for the Empire? Maybe he wants to see what happens when foes with nethersite collide. That'd be just like Dr. Sid. No I will search out the Sun Crist. No one's asking for Ash's feelings. I know where the Sun Crist is. It's in the actual fun secret area. History is built by our hands. That's his favorite line. He'd never stand by and watch the Acurious Stones <coughs> shape things. So, he was talking to Venar all along. He wasn't mad at all then, was he? No. Oh. Venar totally interrupted Balthier's life. And everyone thought that Dr. Sib was crazy, but he wasn't. There was just something very strange happening to him. Restore Dalmasca's sovereignty and make our amends with Lady Ash. It's the only way to avert war. It is a war of necessity. Your Lady Ash herself is bent on it. She desires it above all else. She will not rest until her revenge is full wrought. I fear you misread her intent. She would sooner shun war than embrace it. You are young, Larsa. And you presume beyond your ken. Then let us look closer. Judge Gabranth. I would have you seek after the Lady Ash and judge whether she makes overtures of peace or war. Yours shall be the eyes of the Empire. And should I espy war, I am to put her to the sword. Is that your wish, Excellency? It will not come to that, I am sure. I have faith in her. Faith in you both. Faith in you both. On faith you Gabrath, in you shall both. I all our fortunes? Lars is putting all his faith in Gabrand. As you will. <laughs> Lars is so cool. That so sweet a child could be your brother is hard to believe. Larsa is as he should be. What's that, Vanna? Ah, taken the bait already, have they? Splendid. The Ocuria have given the princess her treaty blade. The gods have chosen their scribe to write history as they deem fit. Larsa is a boy. Yes, and she with fresh nethersite to aid her. Bah! To hell with the Acuria and their stones. What good? A power that cannot be harnessed. Baubles best suited for study, no more. I like Sid a lot, damn it. We conquered two kingdoms that you might study these baubles. Oh, I am grateful for the sacrifice. Without it, manufactured Nethersite would have eluded us. An unrivaled weapon, I warrant you. Tell me, Venar. Have I not been an apt pupil? <laughs> Fanah's best character. Oh, there he is. My counsel did but guide your able hand. Two eyes on his chest there. Through power of One on his hip. the stones did you perfect. Yes. So much accomplished in six fleeting years. Man's fervor or all obstacles prevailing. Our lives are much too short. You undying might waste long centuries away, but we, I fear, cannot. Just so. Had we more time, we might have availed ourselves of more prudent measures. Your greatest work still lies before you. The fuck is that thing? They're just chilling when that thing's in the room. Will the Acuria allow you to wrest the reins of history from their grasp back into the hands of men? Indeed. What claim does Garen have on history's reigns, seated on throne immortal? 
rent from time. Vinaz, I agree. Vinaz did nothing wrong. For your ascendance vein, I offer prayer. May you attain all that which is your due. What a creepy thing. Attain it I shall. For too long have my deeds gone unrewarded. I like all the villains and all the heroes. The biggest villain in this game is Ash. Am I still in the Great Crystal? In tower on distant shore dreams the sun Christ. Do these words mean aught to you? I know where. Didn't Redis say he was going to follow some other course? Everyone says Redis. something that can help. Like TH. I'd rather stay out of that Sky Pirate's debt, thank you. What's wrong with Redis? I mean, if you can't trust your own kind, who can you trust? You're an expert on pirating now, are you? <laughs> Von and Balthier's relationship is cute. Thanks for not warping me out of the dungeon game. It's not too late, maybe it will warp me out of the dungeon. I don't know what inside a thumper is. I think this actually just warps you straight out. It might warp you some ways out. It might warp me out of the Great Crystal, but not out of everything. Ah. Oh. Are you kidding me? Thanks, game. Man, if we did this, we could really sell more guides. We could sell all the guides. I think I can actually get out from memory. That other gun. Those other bullets. Boss I just fought was immune to everything. Stun up, please. Stun up, please. <sighs> right in time to make me change characters. I'm still immobilized. I'm still sapped. I'd like to control my character sometime today. Alright, let's cast region. I mean, not region, what do you call it? Well, let's cast region anyway. Asuna should cure... Possibly sap and definitely immobilize. Oh wait, it wore off. I got a lot of new gear. I've probably got better stuff that I can't be equipping. What are you? Reaper. Reaper's hand is best caressed. Pretty sure I can make it out on memory. Thanks for not setting off the trap too much. I'm gonna have so much money when I'm done with this area. Uh, and that should be that. I think we're out of here. We've only got one dungeon to creep our way out of. There are now enemies on this map.
Yeah, meeting the gods was kind of fun. Not every day that you get to do that. I hope I don't have to re-enter this map at least twice more in order to get um, Ultima and also in order to get um, Omega Mark 12. Are Hermes Sandals perma haste? I don't remember them. That item is normally perma haste in Final Fantasy. I really am tempted to just run away. this entire upcoming section. The way this map is designed basically means that you pull a fuck ton of enemies. I don't want to know what that is. Because it's looping back on itself so much, you keep on passing through the areas that you've already like you keep on, you don't actually leave the enemies, like, territory. About here now. He's got 1 HP out of 1 HP. If I let go of fucking run. I will use so many Phoenix Downs on Balthier in such a short time. Look, we made it out. That was actually pretty fast. Balthier's not even fucking here, he must be dead. No, he's just... what is he? He's gone. He's turned to stone. He's got like every status ailment you can have. I think that was an achievement in FF9, is to have a single character have every single status ailment you could have at any at one point in time. I looked at the list of FF9 achievements and they were actually pretty cool. So now we're going to um, the port at Belfenheim. Because Vaughn's suggestion of talking to Revis was actually the correct one. I need to go to a shop, Jesus Christ. There's a guy on a chocobo here who's who you can deal with. You. Stop talking words. You have, I forget. Bunch of crap. Alright, it begins. I'm now in the money. Look at all these fucking demon tails. Look how much they're worth. I think I ground those uh, insect tusks for a while. Prime pelts are worth a lot. I have enough dark crystals that they're worth a lot. There we go. I can buy the Morbid Urn, finally. Yeah. Gigas Gear. And the Noisome Incendiaries. Neat. Let's take a look at my licenses. Let's take a look at my gear. Oh yeah, I have the Treaty Blade now. So this is better anyway than the um, uh, Sword of Kings, but they're both still laughably bad considering like where you are in the game. In th this game and in the original, the Treaty Blade and the Sword of Kings, the only notable thing about them is that they, are, they both don't have licenses, which means anyone can equip them. So 
So I could just fucking, for example, I'm pretty sure Balthier's best weapon is the Treaty Blade. It's pretty cool looking too. I think it's not very good. I, th I think there's some serious downside to both the Sword of Kings and the Treaty Blade. Um, it might be that they can't combo or something like that. I seem to recall there's something really annoying about them. 71 power hand bomb. So the Gaia Gear is a lot better than what I've got on. And I've got two of them. Gold hairpin and Gaia Gear. Sure. Giant's helmet. Quite a lot better. Jade gown. Sure. Let's check my licenses. Oh yeah, there he is. Shem, Shem has I. So there's the caldera, and the, I thought I had a volcano. So I get hand bombs for Vaughn. I get 230 HP for Malthier. That's very good. I could live with that. Put it like that. That would be really nice. That's like something I'm seriously considering taking. Cleanse and Asuna on my red mage. Asuna would be really nice. That's probably better. Uh, HP on my white mage is so useful. Because that HP the mount is like, that adds up and it's doubled too because of bubble. Gah. Uh, Suna is kind of good. Nothing for Bosch. And... Uh, Potion Lore 2 for Ash. And... Pinello. Did I already find it on Pinello? Steel Mask and Mirror Mail. Those are kind of cool, but... I think she's got better heavy armor. Yeah, the Platinum. But even then, that's not good. You'd rather just have the high-level Mystic Armor. I really want this. I want all three of these. So I would say that probably I'm looking at the HP. The HP is probably the best shit. Where's Hand Bombs for? Don't I have the walk in with T on here somewhere? Got all this time magic. Haste Gun! Holy shit! Oh my fuck! I need that! Haste Gun is so good. I 100%... Vaughn doesn't even do anything else with his MP. Whatever is here, I'm taking it. I'm just taking it. I'm, go I'm going here. There's no doubt. Haste God is better than anything on any other character. I didn't realize Vaughn had that. What was I looking for on Vaughn? I was like hunting something down. Oh, the hand bomb volcano T. There it is. Okay, um, Balthier is 230 HP, which is actually 460 HP, versus um, Franz Asuna. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I think I'm gonna go with. I think I'm gonna go with. I think I'm gonna go with Balthier on this one. Damn! Look at all those license points. I can almost max. Balthier. I'm like pretty close. I have the Holy Rod. I guess I'll grab that. Don't I have... Can I even use Holy? Where is Holy? Down here somewhere? There it is. I, I can't... I don't have the spell yet. The spell goes good. I want to just grab the whole bottom area. Sure. My battle lore. It's over here. Soul Eater and battle lore. If you get every single battle lore, I wonder how strong the White Mage is. That's real complete looking. The White Mage was the second one I maxed in my initial playthrough. They should all require a similar amount of JP to max, I feel. I can just grab the ribbon right now. Look at that. It's almost done.
Friend's just missing a huge area. Then I get like a cool shield at some point. Aegis shield. That's good, that's worth getting. In the initial release, it's actually somewhat important to never pick up um, shield block on some characters for punching self in face reasons. And also, um, what's the other one? I haven't grabbed that. Um, there were two. Uh, the one that makes your fists attack stronger, which also hurts your ability to punch yourself in the face. Like this entire area I've never gone. I'm gonna pick up all my magic. She's looking nearly done. We're getting there. One day I'll have these. I think so. I don't remember what the Caddy Hood does. I just remember that it's good. I guess I'll pick up some Gambit slots. I'm gonna go ahead and start working on... I'm pretty sure I have everything I need to work on the Dragon Whisker L. Hey Kihara, can you really quickly just tell me what the ingredients are in that one? Should be fairly easy to find. Did I mention that all of these are shaped like the, um, the uh, zodiac that they're supposed to represent? See how this one's like the Pisces or whatever? Sounds like the Taurus or whatever. Is that Taurus? Who really drives cars? Fuck car drivers. That shit is loud. Swords A is pretty cheap. I don't know where that is. I want to start working on that. Don't know where the Ragnarok is either. Probably can't get that yet for, for, for a while. I could just grab the Tornasol. I won't have it for ages. But I could just grab it. I'm at the point where I can actually start working on, like, ultimate gear. Instead, halves ice and wind elemental damage increases by speed by three, and in converts the character's license points into kill. <laughs> Gold can gain per license point is equal to character's level times five. Jesus Christ, that's still really good. Speed by 50 is a lot, though. That sounds broken. I really want flare. Probably won't actually find that spell for a while. Alright, we learned all the black magic in the whole game. Um, license things are really good. Almost done with all our game, but she's almost done. She's just almost done. Staff of the Magi. It's 
picking up random shit at this point. Alright, we're done with this whole entire top portion. Oh man, she's close. I'm close. I need to start working on the Eldevar and Y. I'm gonna grab this because it's pissing me off. I still don't know if these do anything. I think they don't. I think guns are just guns no matter what you have. Potion lore is good. Even though I never use potions. I want Euclid Sexton, dude. I have Libra. I could just cast that. I don't even need to equip the bangle. is looking real close to done. We're doing real good with all these license boards. I left Ash a lot of points because I don't know which weapon I'm going to end up getting. Um, I end up, I'll probably end up getting the Trango Tower for a few characters. Trango Tower is a pain in the ass to get, but it sure is worth it. Is that just a chest? How do you get that? Oh, it's just here. Teleport stone. Oh. Well, that's nice. That's a lot of gill shit. Let's go talk to Redis and then let's check what marks we can do. I still don't have a map of this damn town. Here's the Aerodome. What's up, Sminix? I think this is the hallway you can race in. I don't remember. There is a map where you can race what's-his-face in Endgame. The guy who looks a little bit like, uh... Uh... What's his name? I don't remember his name. He looks like Jekt anyway. This is the hallway you can race down, I think. I think this might be where you get the Strahl. You already have the Strahl, but... There's a point where you can fly it around. Ships in the water. Send fishing dories if need be. I care not. Gloss air engines are as good to us as sky to a fish. Leave what boats have founded. I want soul save, not driftwood. There goes Mr. Not quite Jack. Our armada ran afoul of bad water near Oh, the I think I get Redis target. here. I think All he joins. Stop the sudden. Be calm. Trouble with a mist thick as death, it seems. Those seas are yacht. I expected airship trouble, not a fleet foundering midst the waves. Tell me of what happened in well. your... From the lay of your eyes, I measure all did not go well. Sid, was he false as I feared? Yes, but we may have caught a glimpse of his true intent. We may now know what it is that Sid searches for. One Redis, please. So the day affected Nithocite was only a fragment? And these Ocuria I know not and care to know even less. If we strike this sun crest with the sword of kings, no new stone may be born. We say the sun crest is the source of all Nithocite's power. If we might break it, the dusk shard would be as a thing lifeless. As for the manufactured Nithocite, who can say? There is another way. We used the Treaty Blade to cut a new stone from the Crist. Use that to fight the Dusk Shard and the Manufactured Stones. I like door one more. Would you like to know the best use of Nethersite? Will or nil, I'll tell you. You pick it up and throw it away. Either way, we have to find the Sun Crist first, right? Don't we? 
across the sea and a tower on a distant shore. R Redis? Familiar words, Vaughn. I sounds like the Ferris in Ritorana. Some documents I chanced upon during my visit to Draclaw. The Naldoan Sea, the Ritorana Cataract, and the Pharos Lighthouse. I sent my fleet to fish out the truth behind these words and caught trouble. Then proof is ours. This lighthouse on the Naldoan Sea is the tower on the distant shore. The strong mist that becalmed your ships is a grimmer yet clearer sign than any we might hope for. The Suncrist is there. All well and good, but how do we get there? How about the straw? Those seas are in Yacht, as I recall. What does Yacht mean? Try putting this one in your ship. It is a sky stone made to resist Yacht. More spoils from the Draglord labs, is it? Why not use it yourself? That's just the thing. My ship's a Bajurban model. It sure sounds like work. Philomar. But I never thought about it. Straw, she'll fly in Yacht. Lady Ash, I would accompany your highness if you do not object. I am in your care. But it is the prime more. time to do all the side Why quests. So this guy stress. is really good. The and having four teammates lands. instead of three is amazing. Nabudis was your home? Nay, but a memory forever burned in my heart. Red ass. Red ass. This guy's good. I've been waiting for him to join so I can actually do most of the endgame shit. I can do most of endgame. Most. I can do about 99, like 90, like 95 percent of the game right now. This is prime time to work on my ultimate weapons. Is that a Viera? You will never a Viera. Hmm. Fuck. I'm looking at mini-maps. The white cat. Alright, in my first playthrough, I like didn't do any marks until now, so I was doing like every single mark in the game. Like the only one I ever did was Rogue Tomato. So now I can do Death Guys, who is apparently actually Death Gaze. I have no one who can equip a Masa Minute or a Ninja Sword. Diablos. Ooh, can I do that one now? I don't remember what he's called. Nope, not yet. Pisco Demon, this one has the ultimate uh, bullet. This would be a very good one to do now. Burr Be a very good one to do now. Wild Marlboro. It's not carrot. Ah, oh, mother! F I just remembered this guy. He's got probably the coolest design of all the worms. He is hard, though. I cheese this guy. There's a rock you can stand behind where he can't target you and you can cast magic on him. I literally had to cheese this guy I had to turn my game. It's off and manually cast magic. And it took 106 casts um, at the amount of damage I was doing. I don't think the Quetzalcoatl, Quetzalcoatl is in this game. That is a really hard boss. I need to get good gear if I want to kill that thing. That's a chest. Fuck. 
Oh, I went to a I went to a bar and I found wine. Yasmin yeah, has a pretty cool design, but I think I like the um. I like how the Fafnir has all this like shit sticking out of it. Like people have been trying to kill it for ages. Give me a rod. There's some guy here who gives you a rod, isn't there? Isn't it here? I forgot all about this. Maybe not on this map per se. But there should be... This is, this is... I'm pretty sure this is where you get the rod. I forgot all about that. My about me is extremely fucking old. You're correct. There was a time when it was new. But these things... Time passes. Kazal Kotal. Really? There should just be a guy with a fucking... I don't remember who gives you... Do the race. There for a bit of sport. Damn, he's fast. Vaughn, turn. Wait, am I controlling him? No. I'm not controlling him. Turn, Vaughn, turn. Oh shit, I'm winning. Why is he doing this? I won. I think you can get some pretty good rewards for, like, if you do the race enough, but it's so tedious. Fantasy Star Online 2 is the game I've been waiting to come out in English since I wrote that got that about me. But it looks like it's just never ever gonna come out. Is it you? Give me your fucking fish... fishing device. I think it's on the way down here. You. One fishing device, please. Give. Give. I have to give him something in return. What does he want? You do need to do the fishing to get the ultimate sword. I think the ultimate sword also has no treat, uh, no, no license, so you can just equip it on anyone. It's kind of good. It's probably not the best weapon in the game. Best weapon in the game is probably the Zodiac Spear, the Masamune Eye. Those would be my top two. Masamune Eye is pretty much awesome. It's a katana, but it's one-handed instead of two-handed, so you can equip a shield at the same time. That's just a cockatrice. How do I get it to come back? I ca I don't know... I don't know what allows me to start gathering them. Show me that Redis. There he is. Old 42 guest character. Check our family side quest. Yeah. Speaking with Roxalt, the South Bank Village. Didn't I do that? I'm pretty sure I did that. South Bank Village, that's in the Ester Sand. He was like, no. Let's 
to you, motherfucker. Talk to him twice, then run to the Erdem's entrance. Oh, you have to steal it! <laughs> okay, I forgot about that. I, I actually forgot about that. That's scumbag as fuck. Why is that the correct thing? You actually have to steal it. <laughs> That's so bullshit. How would you ever figure out to do that? And also, why is that the correct decision? Fucking lol. Talk to him twice. Little chance of that. So you leave. And then you come back. And the rod is by itself. Muramata. You just take it. You just steal it. You just steal it. That's the correct way to get... That's the only way to get a fishing rod in the whole game. You have to steal one. <laughs> That's stupid. Fishing is a bit like a better version of frog catching. I'm gonna do it now. You can do it later. Esther Sand, where is it? I missed it. But I wanna do it now. I missed Esther Sand again. The Dalmaska Esther Sand, there we go. You have to steal it, dude. What the fuck? Why was that the correct solution? I have 39 unread emails. I get an email every time someone comments on one of my videos. I think I would have figured that out if I gave myself enough time. I knew it was that NPC. Probably would have tried to talk to them again. And if it was looping, I was just like... You can actually get really good shit. Like, really good shit from the upper level fishing. I don't remember when you can get... I don't know if you can do it all right now. Sandfin. Different fish have different combos. This is honestly a really fun little side quest. You do it a lot though. It's it's more like Chocobo Hunt Cold. Waterstone. It's actually almost exactly like Chocobo Hunt Cold. It's actually almost exactly like Chocobo Hunt Cold. And liver carp. Don't tell me about when I'm done fishing, motherfucker. In real life, you fish for eight hours. In video games, I should be able to fish for eight hours. It is. This is pretty easy so far, but it gets harder. I think I want empty bottles. I think there's special empty bottles. It tells you like after the fact. There's a new one.
If you actually do this all the way to the end, the stuff you can get in the final one is so good. I missed the Flaming Fireball, dude. It'd be kind of cool if they brought Flaming Fireball back and that was like his combo ender. Remember when you would end with Flaming Fireball for the knockdown? Because DP would often be out of range and had a hard motion and Tatsu would often like not work properly. Remember the days when Ryu would literally end combos with, hard f with heavy Flaming Fireball? Only I can speed this up. One little complaint I've had about Street Fighter since um, SF2 is they don't do enough to differentiate Ryu and Ken's fireballs. EX fireballs. In EX, in Street Fighter 4, Ken's EX fireball didn't knock down. But usually the fire just doesn't. It's not meaningful enough. You can technically still DP through fireballs, but you have to hit the opponent. Or else your invincibility won't last long enough. Pirate base. Bass, excuse me. It's a fish. Therefore it is bass. I tried to parry fireballs for like my first year of Street Fighter 4. I think you just have to do this a whole lot. I don't know when he starts giving you- whoa, midstream. Wait, time out, go back. That was it, that's what I've been waiting for. Oh well, I guess I'll do this. Oh shit, I hit that before I even reacted. Ken's fireballs have a little bit more startup usually, and a little bit worse recovery usually. It's very subtle, it's usually only a few frames in both directions, and yet a few frames makes all the difference in the world. A few frames is the difference between eating a full jumping combo and DPing. Alright, so now the combos are going to start actually being hard, and the rewards are going to start actually being good. I think no one actually remembers that cookie. It's dream. R2. The vertical ones don't give you as much time. That was close. So we got new things we can hit. And longer combos. Delicious fish. I think I'd just go crazy with the reward of Reezy X Fireball. They gave Ibuki a parachute.
fish scale. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That'd be kind of fun. But it'd be hard to balance, because a lot of his stuff isn't really useful except as enders. Pick rum. I think you have to catch everything in any given area to unlock the next area. Until the last one where you have to you have to unlock it through like secret means. I haven't played a Mega Mode in a minute. I kind of want to go back and play it. I really wanted to make a Mega Mode work, but I like didn't. I wanted to be that guy who was like, you know, here's the bread and butter combos for a Mega Mode. But that was too much. It was too different and there wasn't enough help. Same fish twice. I think it stopped. I don't need fucking fish eyed trout. Oh my god, have I really only caught two different fish? Five perfect fishing scores. Alright, that's pretty simple. I probably I probably only need to do like one more. I might have just done it, or it might be one more. There are only so many combos. This becomes important for the last ones because you need to type in some hella fast combos. Oh fuck. <laughs> damn it. I gotta redo this. Damn it, damn it, damn it. I think you only get the last prize if you're perfect. Yeah. Gah. Missing fish. Come on, Beth. And I think once you're doing upstream, you have to you can get a random item and you need to get like six of the random item, which is like exactly like Chocobo Hunt Gold. If they're gonna have a self aware character, Dan is the best choice. No doubt. There we go. All the combos at the last button, click when the light is the brightest. Alright, give me that upstream. Alright, let's do this! Leroy! I already made that. Um. Alright. We found that one earlier. Okay. Ugh. That was hard. All his shoulders look the same. Isn't this the Matamune? Hey, you Pikachu is a shit game and I'm not sure how it emulates. Frog spawn.
The fucking sword pun names. I like that. All the colored bottles. I already did, like, fucking four Dragon Quest playthroughs. What do you want? I already did, like, fucking several more if you count the spinoffs. I did Monsters 1 and 2. Fish scale. Monsters was when I realized that, like... Doing full playthroughs of games on stream was way more fun than just doing it by myself. I wonder if there are any people who actually have a playthrough of every single Dragon Quest game on their channel. <laughs> Fuck! I was trying to skip the text. I only care about the bottles right now. Yeah, I remember all this. You just have to do it a whole lot. Since it's one of my really early playthroughs, there's not a whole lot of chat stuff going on. Fishing is very, very optional. Most people will never do this. I'd be surprised if, like, 2% of all players of FF12 made it to this and did it and completed it. I'm always taking it while it's hot, while it's bright. Keep on doing this. Again, fishing is only, it's exclusive to end game, and it's very optional. It's very tucked away. But it's one of the three main components of doing, of getting the ultimate sword. And the other, the other two are both of the super bosses, like the true, true super bosses. The two hardest bosses in the game. Give me some bottles. I just want colored bottles. We can already play any, pretty much any game on Fightcade. You just need to have the same ROM. You can have it mislabeled. Like, you can have the ROM for, like... You can have the ROM for, like, fucking X-Men arcade game. And you can just save it as, uh... Uh... What's it called? Magical Drop or something like that. And if you try and connect through Ficade, it'll connect with fucking X-Men. It just automatically opens, the, as long as both people have the misnamed ROM, you can play any ROM through Ficade. As long as it's like supported by the arcade emulator, Final Burn Alpha. That's how people used to play the Third Strike, the hacked one. Have I gotten this many bottles and you keep on not giving me colored bottles? When can you start getting colored bottles? They're not that rare. Reflect is better. Reflect is not as good as it sounds. But I would like that. But I want to focus on the Aldebaran Y and the... Um, the second best spear, Dragon Whisker L.
fishing. It's more dynamic than fishing in real life. Is frog spawn like an item I can just sell? Bizarre. Ooh, it's worth a lot. All these delicious fish. I have 24 empty bottles. Oh, wait. Yo. I forgot. I forgot that's what that did. Never mind, that's super useful and I need that. Exquisite ring. Oh shit, there it is. I just got it. Did it have something to do with frog spawn? Alright, that's like one of the best items in the game for a black mage, to be honest. Probably is the best item in the game for a black mage. I hit X, I promise. I hit it, it just didn't it didn't make a noise. Hmm. That one's hard. I missed two in the same run. That's good. Oh, ring is nice. How does it work? How many goddamn times do I have to do this? When do color bottles become available? I thought you could just do this. I thought you could just do this whole thing. I got a rare combo in the one I missed. I wish I got it. It's probably a fish I'd never gotten. That was close, that was like the last... That was the one I missed, I think. I don't know if the game keeps track of all the fish you've caught. Give me a bottle. Turtle shell. Vanquish guild. Fuck! I haven't done that yet. I can't even accept that mark yet, and I, even if I could accept it, it would be too hard. Got a lot of really good rewards to that one. Alright, I think I'm done fishing for a while. We're gonna try to do a few more marks, and then I'm probably gonna call it quits for the evening. It's because it's fishing, they, it's because there's a bunch of fucking sword puns with all the fishing. That's the reason. This game jokingly treats fishermen like samurai. Well, at least I got a lot of money from all that. And I had to do it all anyway. Um, I really want to kill... Was it Jahara? I really want to kill the Pisco Demon. Like, like, really want to kill the Pisco Demon. Dude, we haven't been in the Sky Pirate Stand in a while. Look at all these people. <gasps> That's Rex. Look, he's lying on the couch and he's, um, sniffing the flower. This trickster over there. Rawr. A regular ass Chocobo. Bane is still looking evil in the corner. Bane is looking more and more like the actual villain of the game. So we have everyone except Ash in terms of main characters. I wonder how you get Ash. Anyway. Only 45 when there's like fucking how many in the game? I can probably accept Gilgamesh now. He's probably like a rare... Okay, hold on. Let me go over to Ravenaster. It's not like I can do him now. He's going to be tough. Wait, do you mean like mob number 45? Or do you mean like level 45? If he's level 45, I can maybe kill him. I have to go to Clan Centurio. Which is closest to the Muthru Bazaar. Ah... He's tough, though. You gotta do a lot of stealing in that fight. 
The rewards are really nice. He's a really hard boss. 140. Oh yeah. Where are you, Mirren? Damn it. Kitten. Kitten. It's pronounced kitten. I don't know if I dissuade or help her. Come on, kitten. It'll never happen is the correct answer. I thought so, but I wasn't sure. You have to dissuade her from that in order to make her into her own thing. It's hard. Can I do the last one yet? Might be able to leave the map and come back. Gil has all of the Genji armor. You fight him three times. And the first time you can steal two Genji pieces from him. The second time you can steal the other two Genji pieces from him. And the third time he has an X potion. Alright, I can't do Kitten's final thing yet. I think he has some other shit the last time you fight him. I can do several of the um, bosses, some of the espers, and I need to do a bunch of them. Those will give me nice license rewards too. This is my favorite inc incarnation of Gilgamesh, by far. FF5 is the one that he's actually from, and he was perfect in that game. If only he didn't die. But I guess he didn't, did he? Hi Arcana, those are rare. I need to keep that. I got a mallet. I don't know what the fuck that is. Might be a rare hammer. Money. Money. Carrot! I got carrot! This is the gayest boss in the whole game. It's not the hardest, it's just the worst. Carrot is like my favorite. Ancient Man of Mystery is Gilgamesh. <laughs> it's Gilgamesh and uh, Enkidu. It's kind of cool, actually. I was not expecting this boss. I gotta say. Stolen Swords. This boss caught me 110% off guard. I didn't realize that was a good ending. It, does it just not show him dying, or does it actually change anything? Swordsman of Summer Pew. I'm gonna try and kill this guy. I can fight him right now. Like, I can just teleport almost straight to him. But he's tough. And we got Belito. Don't remember this one. Oh, I remember this one. I remember. Nemiens of Sansi, a beast whipping great torrents of sand in the air. I see the caves filled with quickstand. This one's actually really cool. I love the Belito one. Hunter Stalker. Alright, we've gotten like all but like three. I think. We're like very close to having all hunts available. Yeah, we're up to 40 out of like 45. We haven't completed a lot of them though. Anyway, I really want to get that one 
this guy, Mount Bearer Omisace. I would love to be able to kill that guy and get my Dark Shot, because that's going to multiply my damage. How do I get the Aldebar and Y? What's the bazaar? It's probably here somewhere. Emperor Scale 2, Earth Crystal 8, Silver Liquid 3. There's a 100% chance that I've gotten this, the Earth Crystals. It's expensive. It's a one. It's 120,000 gil. Jesus. It's like half the price of the Canopic Jar. Silver Liquid. Which is found from Hecht Eyes. Emperor Scale can only be found from Archeo Avis. Damn it. No way. Are you kidding me? Wait, it says only the Wellforged Blade. What the fuck? Emperor scales are impossible to get. I'm not going to have that gun forever. I could get the best gun in the game. Ugh. That's all I gotta say. Alright, what about the um, Dragon Whisker L? It's um, not a bizarre item. It's not a bizarre item. What the fuck is it? Drop Evil Spirit 3%. Where are you? Where are you? Location Great Crystal. Fuck. May replace a forbidden. Fuck, 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 fuck. Damn it, fuck, shit. How good is that? How good is the Dragon Whisker L? It's only fucking eight stronger than the Dragon Whisker. I'd be better off mining the Zodiac Spear. Alright, I can live without that. So what's the next gun after the Arcturus? It's the Formal Hout. It's quite a bit stronger. Wait, really? Treasure, Henna Mines, Phase 2 Dig. That's where I'm going, almost. Isn't it? No, it's not. Lucy Mines is where I'm going. And I gotta look up this shit. Henna. Henna, 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 Henna Mines. Phase 2 Dig. Isn't this where the, um... Oh shit, there's a lot of really cool items here. Jesus. Dueling Mask, Flamel Hout, Neopalawa, Grand Helm, Circlet, Holy Moat, Volcano T, Mithril Sword. I have the Mithril Blade, I don't think I ever got the Mithril Sword. Fuck. I will not be here for a while. This is where Zodiac is, I think. 
he's hard. Don't want to fight him. Most of the coolest shit in the game is deep underground. Alright, so I can't do either of those. I can maybe do some of the marks, though. I can get the dark shot. That's a good start. That's in Mount Burr Omises. So we'll go to Southgate and then teleport there. And then we'll go and try and kill Gilgamesh. Emphasis on try. Uh, There we go. I've only killed Zodiac once, and it was a pain. This game becomes so much menuing at endgame. This game has a lot of menuing in general. You, you. Ah, he's most of the way into the town. Gonna need to make this trek twice. This might be, it might be after this quest you get the ultra, no, I think it's the, uh, Fafnir. You get the ultimate staff after you finish Fafnir. Fafnir is probably up here, I can probably accept that one. I, I should accept every quest I can as early as I can every time. On the downside. Is it you? Pisco Demon. What's up fam? Long time no see. Gate of Fire in Gear of Egan. I'd really prefer not to go down there. When do I get Protect Ga? Show me where I get this spell. It's a Nabadis. Alright, I think that Nabadis is actually like where most of the shit I need is. Like, there's a lot of shit I need to do in Nabadis. There's like two marks, there's like three bosses. It's like an entire side quest. I need to start grabbing espers. That's what needs to happen. I need to start my esper collection. I've only got the three storyline ones. Take a look at Gear Vegan and how awful he is to get. Get a fire. Fuck. I don't want to go down there. I don't want to have to go down there until I'm going to get Ultima. Let's just put that one off. Where's the drama like? I don't remember. I can definitely get, uh, what's that guy? The fat thing. He should be fairly easy to get right now. Kukulin. I can get Kukulin right now. He's in Rabinaster. I can literally get him right now. I know exactly where he is. I don't know how to solve the puzzle, but we can brute force it maybe. We can use our puzzle solving skills to, to figure out the puzzle. Kirkland okay. shouldn't be too hard, right? how to solve this puzzle. Number 10. Number 3. Number 4. Number 11. Those are all of my options. Death Esper. I thought that was...
if that, that was Zodiac. Yeah, I think that was the most wrong thing I could have possibly done. I don't remember how many of these I can lower at a time, or raise at a time. We're going to make a profound effort to solve this, and if we can't, we're going to give up. We're going to look at a guide. from the other... There we go. Why are there Marlboro over Kings down here? Explain. Redis is down here, dude. Look at him. He's with me. Not that strong, but he's a lot better than no character. See how I just got an Arcana? That's the Canopic Jar. That's what it does. Smelling salts. Every enemy suddenly drops. Guilt measure? Wait, isn't isn't that one of the really good ones? Or is that one of the really bad ones? Euclid Sexton is the best one. Guilt measure might be the worst one. Does this close the other one? What are my limits here? I think we do both left, both right, and then both center or something like that. What do these ground symbols mean? Redis? No, the guy with telekinesis is fucking toast. He's dead. That was, um... Uh, k -k -k uh, that was Vossler. He was Balthier's friend. But actually, he was a dirty traitor and a scumbag. And he died. He sold us out to the villains repeatedly. That enemy can't reach us. I found no new things whatsoever here. I don't know what Redis's gambits are, but I could look at them right now. Attack! He uses vaccines in my allies. Also gold needles and echo herbs. And he has Spirit of Lowtown. I didn't mean to remove it. I, don't, I didn't mean to remove it. What was it? Self HP below 30%. Spirit of Lowtown. What is that? Honestly, I honestly don't like that. I hope he, I wish he wouldn't do that. Let's turn that one off. If also he does have telekinesis in both versions. He only uses it on flying enemies. It's a skill, it's not like fucking he has telekinesis like magic powers or anything. What the fuck are you? Guess Benst? I'm pretty sure that was the name of Nurgle's ultimate spell. Achilles. That. Is. Cool. Alright, those things on the ground might indicate the hallways that I can go down.
brute force this shit. Alright, currently no paths are closed. Slash open. Alright, I'm feeling very strongly about both right ones, followed by both center ones. I'm feeling like that's the solution. That'll get me all my items. This should do absolutely nothing. But with gate 10 down, it should end up in another place that I haven't been to. third one over here that we unlocked. Pointed horn times two. That thing had two horns. I want the Gispensed item really badly. Arcana. That's fine. Once you get the canopic jar, every single... What the fuck? Okay, I, I need to hit this earlier. There was going to be one on the other side as well. For sure. Yeah, I messed up. Otherwise, I'm not doing anything permanent when I... Jade Collar? I don't know what that does. Water moat. Found the ability to use water. Ooh. Water moat, more like water moat. More like watamote. Water's okay on enemies that are on fire. I've used it quite a lot this playthrough because uh, Aqua Shot is one of the best bullets. What the? I hope you guys like cutscenes of sluice gates opening and closing. Yet to see good water spells in games. Hello, Hydro Pump. Hello, Bubble Beam. Hello, Surf. Hello, Scald. Come on. No good water spells in games. Did you forget Pokemon? Everyone forgets Pokemon. Pokemon has lots of good fucking water spells. But Bath, those aren't spells. But Bath, Pokemon isn't a JRPG. Yeah, it is. Fuck you. Strong! Jesus! That was like a random summon summoned enemy. Alright, so I'm kind of hoping that if I put both the middle ones down at once, that it will unlock something somewhere somehow. Quickenings, depending on your ender, can be elements. But your ender is based on how many quickenings you get. I 
Oh yes, Quest 64 had lots of water spells. Did everyone forget Quest 64 again? Alright, so normally closing both 2 and... I mean 3 and 4, or whatever these two are. I didn't hear any noises, that's a bad sign. Wait, I heard something. What do we got? We got one in the center, lit up. Very promising. Alright, watch me get smashed by this boss. He's a hardcore gimmick boss. But he's not as bad as Carrot. Here we go. How do I get to the bottom? Let's get to the bottom of this. Here we go! Here we go! Bring it on, motherfucker. This guy might be way too hard for me, I have no idea. Kukulin! Me. Kukulin! Slowly drains HP. His health bar is really fucking short. How is my HP this? Oh, he cast Invert. He just put Balthier to sleep. Um, someone should wake him up. On alarm clock would be nice. And also, I should consider giving him fucking anything. There, this guy hits you with way too many fucking... Why am I killing these things? This guy hits you with way too many different spells. It's impossible to, like, protect yourself against all of them. Get me immobilized. That's really bad. I'm not that close to him. Mon is fine. He's just shooting. Boss would stop being immobilized. Jesus Christ. Did he get immobilized again? Or what? Attack this damn thing. Thank you. Alright, my aqua shot is doing nothing here. Or my worm fire shot. We're going silent. Did he just disable me? Mm, that's bad. That's like really, really bad. Am I really doing this little damage? Why does that do so little to him? So there's um, an item that makes you immune to disable. Black Belt. This is the boss fight where Black Belt is really good. I'm literally doing it. I don't know if it cures it though. It does. I'm in a really bad spot. We got two dead characters. Nice block. Ah, that constantly draining HP. So not only did I not win, but I am, like, really, really not winning. Poison can kill me, unfortunately. And so can this HP drain. The fact that the HP drain can kill me basically means I'm fucked. If I ever let anyone die, everyone die. I'm gonna switch over to the girl team and see what happens. I'm gonna allow Vaughn to die. So it would be really, really efficient. It's a bit late, but I'm gonna put the black belts on these fuckers. I 
Now let's go ahead and change this gambit to um, Aroga, I guess. Damage output is not high enough. As long as he uses lots of disabled guy and immobilized guy, I should be alright. Oh shit, wait. This is mysteriously close to the run. No, we're getting to too low HP. need Redis to use a Phoenix down, if he can. Where the fuck are my Phoenix downs? They must be at the bottom. I have a Dark Matter? Where the fuck did I get that? And I need Penella to stop whatever the fuck she's doing so she can quicken. Ah, we're down to two characters. This is bad. I'm not even going to pursue this one. There was no human way. That was a comeback I wasn't making. I didn't have. I, I would need. I, my quickening couldn't be big enough to do as much damage as he had health. Alright, what's the go to title? I found it. I only ever found it because, um. I almost did it one time. Alright, with all black belts, he's gonna waste a lot of turns. I just need to keep my HP really fucking high. That's the trick. And also, Vaughn is not super useful. I need to actually like gear my team up for this one. I think I'm going to ditch Vaughn for Ash. Two fat melee attackers. And then a white mage. Feels strong. Region, hmm. Casting region on everyone before the fight would be really good. No, not Vaughn. I want to get a steal off, but I feel like he has something good. I'd really like to pursue a steal. I don't care. Not you. Protect on everyone. Um... Wait, change my team. Protect on everyone. Um, region on everyone. Uh, this squad. I could, I could, I'm at the point where I could just do decoy reverse. I don't know how decoy, but that's not gonna work for this fight because that takes like everyone's turns. Yeah, higher con is the good shit. I don't get many chances to get that, and you need a lot of them. You need like nine. <laughs> and they're extremely, they're a giant pain in the ass to get. You might need only like six. You still need a fuck ton. You need them for the Tornasol. What the fuck is Belt here? <sighs> Hit everyone. <laughs> Alright, he got it immediately. I think it's a very high chance. It might be guaranteed. I wish I'd protect Ga. Uh... This still this I'd be better off casting Shell. He like didn't attack me, he basically just cast magic. He cast like bio and shit. Let's cast let's cast shell on everyone. Seems like a better long term plan. As long as we keep our HP really high. I think I need to set his... Um, I need to change his gambit to heal from sooner. 
And maybe add Kiraja. Because I think I have that now. This feels good for this fight. Stole the Scorpio gem. God damn it. We did that like the worst possible time. That is so annoying. That puts me in such a bad spot. No, dude, no. Alright, we're okay. I just need to get this Kiraja off. So expensive. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. I need silver liquids. Alright, this is looking a lot better. As long as we keep our HP high, things are okay. This is suddenly really bad. Althea needs to get this spell off, which means I need to basically use an item on him. Like a high potion. I don't know how much that heals. That was enough. Fuck. Damn it. Alright, we only lost Redis, that was okay. HP is going down so fast now. I'm misting. Fuck the police. Don't die, don't die. Fuck. Yeah. Alright, cool. Um. Yep, let's Google in. I've got a backup team still. I must that was pretty good. literally have our three strongest physical attackers out for this one. I don't know how quickening calculate their damage though. Eventually you don't even have enough time for missed charges. I'm doing a quickening. These are like the limit breaks of this game, but you can chain them. And I'm getting a pretty long chain right now, which is nice because I like don't have that much. Oh my god, I actually had the opportunity to do another one. I've still got my backup team. Alright, show me my ender. Essence. I want Kukulin to die. I want this one. He's still alive, motherfucker. He's still alive. Die. Die, die, die. Die. Die, be dead. Okay, thank you.
Whew. Goodness gracious. You never played this guy before? It's easy to sink a lot of time into that game. It's like pretty funny and pretty endearing. Kukla and the Impure. And also, like, every game is designed such that it's supposed to be a game that you can never beat. Jesus, what a boss. Imagine if you, like, died to poison immediately after that. So, what's my actual reward for killing Kukulin? I guess I can get something here, like Clan Mont Blanc or whatever. And Centurio. I don't have an actual reward, do I? My actual reward is the Esper Kukulin. I do need all the Espers. I don't even know if I need all the Espers. I think you need every Esper to do like fights with every with some of the super bosses. Alright, we brute forced the puzzle. We actually learned and understood the puzzle. I don't know about Disguise after 1, but in Disguise 1, Thursday was the best character in the game. You could absolutely destroy the game with him if you knew what you were doing. It's because he had, like, really good, um... Um, I forget. So, let's go to License Board. Where is Kukulin? Behind him is Magic Lore for Machinist. I do not give one half of a rat's ass. Libra, I do not give fucking a quarter of a rat's ass. Fyraga, Thundaga, Blizzaga, and Sleepka. Ooh, those are good. Alright, let's keep in mind to that one. Those are good spells. Kukulin, where are you? There you are. Wither? That is pretty good, actually. Actually, that's really good. Wither is good. Wither is the breaker signature. It's one of the breaker signatures. The one that lowers the foe's defense is better. Tell me I have that. Is that here somewhere? Expose. Yeah, that's the good one. Lower the foe's strength is, like, not as good. Although it's still good. Because it works on bosses. Uh, Battle Lore. That's, that's objectively super useful. That'll probably do me the most. That's probably the best one so far. Nothing. And that's it. Uh, let's grab the Battle Lore. We got a bunch of other... How many... How many... I don't know if there's a, a cap to how many you can grab on a single job. Because battle lore is good, but I've already got fucking potion lore. And the white magics are looking really good. And it also has, like, Kiraja down there and bravery. And a fucking battle lore with telekinesis. And HP. Like, I'm gonna be 100% real. Um, Knight has some of the best in the game. Um, and I don't know what the limit is on how many you can grab on a single character. I'm going to attempt to Google that right now. Because I might just end up getting like almost all of them on Ash. Yes! Cool. There is no limit. There is no limit. You can just give one character every Esper. A max of 13. I'm using. The um, summons are... The the mists are three per, and I thought the summons might be two, but apparently they aren't. All right, honestly, like this is best on Ash. Oh look, he's got that fucking awful tea green color. Okay, one down. What's next on our list? Um, I could go. Uh, to Persona 3 is, a lot of people's opinion, the best Persona. That's all I know because I've never played it. I just know that it's supposed to be fantastic.